Okay, this is the Hatson 125 Sniper, 25 cal. This is actually what I've been waiting for for a long time to figure this out. How easy or difficult is it to adjust and check the pressure in the Vortex gas ram? I've tuned springers, no big deal, but not a gas ram. And I have found that the hats and vortex you can adjust. This is the fill tube here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with the gas ram installed or not. But I'm going to try it and check it out. This is the fill port opening. You're not going to be able to see it, but... Okay, I got to make sure I'm in focus here. Inside there is a small hole. And I um, believe there is a check valve behind that. Well, how would you empty it or whatnot if you needed to? And we'll flip it over here. And this is the only issue that I don't know if I'm going to be able to do or not. I don't want to drain it. But this port here is you turn it back and it lets all the air out. Right now this gun is only shooting at 680. This, is, this isn't my gun. This is a gun I'm working on for someone. Uh, it's only shooting about 680. My sniper is shooting 730, 740, which is about advertised with actual lead pellets. So, I changed the breech seal. I did trigger work. I changed the piston seal. There's absolutely nothing left that's preventing this from accomplishing 730, 720 to 740 FPS except for low air in the gas ram. So I was going to get a PCP anyways, so I bought a Hatson pump. I got all my quick disconnect and everything in case I get more. I buy ahead of time in case I get a different PCP later on. So I got the fill tube. And we're going to try putting this in here. Am I still in focus? Hopefully. Yes. We're going to try putting this in here. Now it won't read exactly what the pressure is right away until I start pumping, but I'm hoping this will allow me to at least see where this is at. I believe the max is 145 bar. So I'm going to try to uh, accomplish on just seeing what this is set at right at the moment. Let's see if we can get this uh, fill tube in here first without ruining the o-rings I just have to make sure okay it doesn't look like any of that should hit and I'm really hoping it's not a big deal I will pull the whole piston out but I'm really hoping I can just do this in the gun that would make it so convenient and the only reason I'm doing it with the pump is because I figured with such a oh there we go oh nice there we go I figured with such a small gas ram I didn't want to use a scuba tank or anything and crack it open and add too much or if I cracked it open it would be putting gas in and really I just want to check what the gas pressure is right now And if I need to, I can add more. Well, this may or may not work the best way, but that's what me and apparently all of you are going to find out. And I really should have bought an extension. That was the only thing I looked at and I really should have bought it because it just makes life easier. And that was one reason why I got the Hatson pump for the longer tube, but I'm thinking in reality. Okay. Now, I'm trying to read this here. Fortunately, 20 years of uh, plus welding 
hasn't been good to my eyes, so bear with me. Let's just say, make sure we're still focused here. Because the last video I did was really crappy on the angle, so. Okay, right now, can't see, I don't think it's moved. I don't know if I can stand on the table or if that would actually be a really great idea. Um, let's just take this slow and see what happens. I think they really should have. Okay, it is tightened. Just making sure. Because right now, I was actually hoping. But if it has a one-way check valve on there, that's what's going to kind of screw me up. I'm not going to be able to get a good reading. Uh, well, we'll try a little more. See what happens. Uh, we're just going to put one foot up here. Hopefully uh, not go for a ride. Whatever that gas piston is, it should read up to that bar. And I'm almost there now, but I am at. 75 bar and I know that is rated for 145 <sighs> so do I stop empty it all out and fill it up you know, I'm gonna bleed it here and just see because what I don't want to do is over pressurize the Piston. Okay, now I'm starting to understand why all those guys uh, have bought scuba tanks and everything. I mean, this isn't taking much, but I do feel the pressure. But for my first PCP, this will be fine. Okay, I'm up at 100, this is a 145 bar, all I want to do is get it back up to 145 and then test the gun. And if it increases over 680, which it was shooting before,
Just make sure that's tight. Yeah, I'm almost there now, so. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I did with my glasses. We'll take a look. Okay, 145 now. We'll just uh, pop this off. release it. I don't know if my crown is going to work inside. That's the only thing. So we'll remove that. I'll put the gun back together. Uh, I'll shut it off the video off now and uh, come back with some results.